Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 29th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did record and detect an M-class solar flare just recently. Not sure exactly what region shot off the M-class solar flare. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Still got that spastic sunspot on the right-hand side coming in for an Earth-facing fun view for the week. And as well in the southern hemisphere on the left-hand side, that's a pretty big sunspot region turning in. Looking at outgoing here, plasma filament taking off from the left-hand side, northeast fashion. Other than that, not too much to talk about. We are already currently going through an R1 radio geomagnetic storm. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Pretty sure the region outgoing here in the northeast region of our sun is where the M-class solar flare was. Another light here, 193 angstroms, and you can see darkened region, which is a coronal hole more northern hemisphere coronal hole at the time. Other than that, no other coronal holes to report. We could have some building ahead of that large sunspot region cresting. Another look here at our sun able to show our heliosphere and all of the sun's activities for the past two days. Amazing images amazing sun. Another look here at Lasco 2 showing the energies taking off from the sun. Not too many CMEs or flares to talk about the last, the last two days or CMEs from flares. Pretty active region outgoing though. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range. As you can see, it hopped up into the M-class solar flare range and another one minor M-class, about six hours ahead of that. Geomagnetic activity is slightly elevated now with a KP3. Solar winds are sit hitting us at 448 kilometers per second. And that, it was streamlined for a bit yesterday, but quite jagged today, increasing density bunches. Having a look at our magnetosphere, cut planes for pressure. This is showing the pressure is kind of letting off on our planet right now, and we're seeing it with earthquakes as they have increased a bit. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10. A couple of healthy spikes there, but nothing major to show or talk about for Schumann. Amplitude of 10, quality of 6.2, power of 5. Now let's get to earthquakes, the past 24. Actually, we're going to throw the last two days of earthquakes in here. Last 48 hours, as I did not produce a video yesterday. Having a look here, the largest, the past 48 hours, was a 6.0 earthquake. Isangal, Vanuatu, 10 kilometer depth. And we've seen pretty deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. Vanuatu with a 4.8 there. And then... Here in the Tonga region and Fiji, 623 kilometer depth. That's very deep. 585 as well and 509. So we're expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow here real soon. Overlooking the Philippines, Indonesia, largest being through the region, 5.2. As well, Micronesia, Philippines plate. Federated States of Micronesia, 4.5, 4.6 there, Guam. And then lots of activity through Japan today. 4.4 is ranging to 4.9. Myanmar, 4.5 there yesterday. Aksu, China, 5.6 and a 4.5. That was reported yesterday as well. Another 4.9 earthquake. Ethiopia, just north of Urta Ale Volcano. And as well, Nasanje. Malawi, South Africa, 4.1 earthquake. 
Aegean Sea and up into Italy. 4.8 ringing out there and just south of Italy, 4.2. South America seeing activity the last 24 hours, 5.3 there. Peru, 73 kilometer depth. And then as well, some notable earthquakes here through the Dominican Republic, 4.1s. Caribbean, definitely seeing an increase in activity. Across the United States, nothing major to report. No swarms to talk about. 3.4 there, Hides, Hidesville, California, and as well, Nevada with 3.4. Those are the largest across North American plate. So pretty quiet considering sitting at just over 200 earthquakes in a 24-hour period, according to USGS. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Take a quick moment to thank you all for tuning in tonight. If you enjoy all of this information shared in one video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Central America, way too quiet. Expecting something big here in the next 24 hours up into the North American plate in Central America. Have a plan. No fear here, everybody. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Reventador in Ecuador, Popocatito in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, about 181 active hazards here on this app. Got Sangay in Ecuador, Shivluch in Russia. Savinkaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Nevada Starruas at Colombia, Simaru in Indonesia. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today. And we'll have to give you an most recent and updated volcanic activity report. Stay tuned for that coming tomorrow as well. I got another special video coming tomorrow for you. So stay tuned and notified. Don't forget to click that bell. Make sure you're receiving all updates. Large atmospheric river still stretching across the Pacific due to that huge low right over the Aleutian Islands right now. Tropical cyclone Darien is still spinning but fading quickly. Has been spinning for 11 days, sorry, 12 days straight now. And a great day is ahead of you for Europe and also west coast of Africa. Watch, you got a low coming in there. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast here brought to you by Venture Sky overlooking North America. Got a low coming out of the Gulf this week, which was warned in the, the most recent video. So extreme weather event coming out of the Gulf as well. Heavy rainfall and heavy snowfall event coming to California as you have a huge low affecting you this week. And then watch for that to become a Colorado low by Sunday. And then watch the extreme weather event to bring above normal temperatures to Ontario and stormy conditions to the Atlantic provinces by Sunday. Long range forecast, watching a pretty big low pressure here. This is the Colorado low. More extreme weather coming out of the Gulf and some more heavy snowfall for parts of Quebec. And then extra long range here next Wednesday, watching a pretty vigorous system affecting Northern California and southward. So watch out. Heavy rainfall warnings. Flood watches will be popping up all across California. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Not too much to talk about. Midweek next week, watching for heavier amounts through Argentina border and Brazil. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, but more southward and as well all around Madagascar. Could be some pretty heavy rains there. Stay tuned. Overlooking Europe. You've got one, two, three, four low pressure systems 
in the North Atlantic right now, and none of them are making landfall. They just keep sweeping waves of moisture across, but nothing major to report except for scattered showers and above normal temperatures. Overlooking Indian Ocean, do have a system here. We'll be heading into the Sea of Yemen. Overlooking Australia, you've got two very deep low pressure systems affecting you this week. Look at that low pressure system, Western Australia, just raking the coastline. That won't be leaving the continent until about nine days from now. Another one coming in from Queensland. So heads up, some heavy rains and stormy conditions all across Australia, pretty much. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, still watching these low pressure systems ramp up and bring in tons of moisture to the west coast of North America. Long range forecast showing a pretty vigorous low developing in Pacific and Atlantic. So stay tuned for next video. Let's have a look at our upper level winds. This is at 10 hectopascals, so 100,000 feet. This is our polar vortex right now, and I wanted to note out here the direction of the winds, our trade winds coming through the equator. Notice the east to west movement there. Now we're going to go back to 2021 at this time, and we've got winds going in the total opposite direction of what they are right now. Something has changed in our upper atmosphere and our magnetic field and it's getting very evident around the world. Please share this video with your friends and family, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.